When we grow up with parents or caregivers that make fun of us, that belittle us and our emotions, you know, they say things like you're being too sensitive, you need to get over it, you're taking things too seriously. It was just a joke, right? It teaches us that our own emotional states and well-being are something to be ashamed of, something that is a burden and should be ignored and is not safe to express, right? So then we go into the world and we get into relationships and we do the same thing. We hold back expressing our feelings when we're hurt, when we're upset, when we need something because we're fearing that we're going to get judged, we're going to get abandoned, we're going to be belittled, right? And all that happens is it builds up wounds within a relationship that the other person may not be even aware of. They're not even getting the chance to help repair that, right? And the truth of the matter is, it is the bare minimum to care about another person's well-being and emotional state. And that's in all ways, right? So how do we work through that? We have to start allowing ourselves to set up a safe space to check in and see how do you even feel about your emotional state? Do you give yourself permission to feel your feelings and to honor and validate them? Because if you're not even doing that for yourself, that might be a place to start so that you can start allowing it with other people. The other thing I like doing is setting up a very safe container in a relationship where maybe for five minutes you set a timer and you're going to express everything that's on your mind and heart. And maybe you start with lighter things, right? Things that feel lighter to you. And then the other person is just meant to sit and listen, no talking, no feedback. They just listen. And then for five minutes, they get to do the same for you. And afterward, you can choose to have a conversation about anything that's come up. But doing something like that regularly can allow you to start deepening the conversation. And then when it when you are having those moments where something is bothering you, you can say, hey, I need some time to talk to you about this thing. Can we do this exercise, right? If that's something that resonates with you, follow. And if you are struggling with relationship, body image, intimacy issues because you grew up with parents that are narcissistic, emotionally immature, I want you to check out my latest program, Unleash, which launches on May 8th. There is a comment below with the link to check that out. And again, make sure you're following because I love doing self-healing work like this and helping you out.